is good YouTube welcome back to another JC2K video in today's video we are going to be talking about everything new here in season 7 of NBA 2K24 my team before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button help me push towards the 24,000 sorry 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day tons of consistent daily my team content planning to continue uploading consistent daily my team content at least until the end of this my team next year we'll see uh, but 2K has done a lot of stupid recently in my opinion and it has really really hurt their community in a lot of ways and I don't think they've done themselves a solid with season 7 I'm going to be honest this is not in my opinion a huge success of a season to start today's content really sucks but we're kind of here to talk about everything that is new in my team this season. Uh, everything that you need to know, rewards, that type of stuff. I'm going to make a specific video here in a little bit going through and talking about how to get rewards and things of that nature. But this is going to be more of a um, surface level video. So obviously the first drop of the season is this unfazed pack. And if these packs were better, both odds wise, as well as the cards that were in them, I would consider opening up a 10 box with MT just for a video to see if I can get close to lock it in the set or whatever the case may be. But you look at these packs, you have Goat, Larry Bird, you're not pulling that card. 200 overalls, Harden, and also a Larry Bird. You're also not pulling those. By the way, these are the same card. The Goat, Larry Bird, the 100 overall, Larry Bird, and then the other four Larry Birds that are also in packs. This is the way every Friday drop is going to be this season, apparently, is they're going to have a 100 overall Overall, a goat card, a free opal, a uh, impacts opal, and then a player at every position. So like four more dark matters in packs. So stupid, if you ask me. Uh, also a dark matter Kareem, dark matter Paul Pierce, and then dark matter Chris Paul and Scotty Barnes as the um, pullable dark matters for the unfazed set. While well, Harden was the hundred overall for the unfazed set, and then you now have four Galaxy Opals from the unfazed set: Rob Williams, Raleigh Zerbiak, Cam Whitmore, and Emmanuel Quickly. And then obviously the pullable Opal Larry Bird. And there's also the challenge for the free Larry Bird. So that is what these pack drops look like they're going to look like this season and this is really bad especially considering your odds are still kind of garbage 15 percent chance at a 97 plus that's every card we just looked at is 97 plus so you have a 15 percent chance to pull anything and only a three percent chance to pull any of these top cards not to mention 100 overalls are still less than one and by the way there is now a dark matter chris paul which is a huge troll dark matter not to mention paul pierce and scotty barnes are also kind of troll dark matters in of their own right this is not number one a set i would recommend locking in even though there is a um a deluxe pack that you can earn and that type of stuff this is still in my opinion not a set that i would personally recommend locking in just because the opals are bad uh but then you have all the goat cards as well which are just garbage and uh, I don't know. This is so dumb. Like, what is the point of all? It's just, it's just greed trying to make more money. And it, it, I don't know. I, I like, I will say you can basically get one of the opals for free, right? In all likelihood by completing this unfazed set for this unfazed item for a deluxe pack. I'm not going to make a specific video on the deluxe pack today. So, uh, or how to get it. I should say, so we'll go over it now. Win five games by 10 points or more for that. Um, win a game using five Celtics players, get 75 assists over multiple unlimited games, making you play unlimited for a deluxe pack is interesting. Although I will say unlimited is the one mode that I would actually recommend playing right now despite the fact that the gameplay sucks Jalen Rose is an incredible reward point guard he might be the best point guard in the game I think you could make an argument that he's better than a guy like Ben Simmons you could make an argument he's better than the new point guard Jokic that card looks incredible as a 6'8 really versatile point guard so uh he may not be quite as good as I think he is but um on paper he looks really really good so I'm intrigued by that card but you also got to get three double doubles over multiple games 60 points to the Celtics player in a game that's annoying but you can do that in the same challenge that you complete the Larry Bird challenge for his free opal uh, 150 points over clutch online games and complete the unfaced spotlights a lot of agendas there to be honest challenge wise let's just real quickly go over what's new um spotlights challenge wise you still have your round recap first round we're gonna get second round challenges on tuesday you got your unfaced challenges here got to complete all three of these an opal challenge a dark matter challenge and a final challenge to get an unsellable pack as well as a deluxe pack a diamond shoe bag and a base pack so they actually took away one of the base packs that's so garbage okay um 25 mt is the ultimate reward for completing the season seven spotlights if you want to do that there's a sabrina ionescu signature challenge and then there should be the opal larry bird challenge somewhere i don't I don't know where you get that Opal Larry Bird. I'm not going to lie. That goat, that goat Larry Bird, I do not know where you get that card. So there's a free Opal Larry Bird. He's not good, but there you can get him, and I don't even see the challenge right now to get him, unfortunately. Um, so I don't really know about that. Um, regardless, there's also this Dark Matter Popovich 30 daily win agendas. Is it literally just going to be win a game every day? 30 days is what this is, because today's is win a game. Is it literally just going to be win a game every day? 
If it is, that's actually not that bad. For a free Dark Matter coach, that's so simple. So it doesn't matter what mode. That's cool, I guess. You get an, a promo pack for getting your unlimited ring. That's another thing, obviously, that you can do this weekend, as always. This video is kind of a combination of what is new in Season 7 and what you should do this weekend if you are playing this game. Again, that's a big if. But for me, I obviously have a good amount of MT on my account. One of my boys is on my account grinding over the past few days. Actually got me a good amount of MT so I could get, get some MT without spending my money because I haven't played the game myself the last couple of days. But, so shout out to him. But regardless, uh... Um, I'm going to hold on to the MT that I have this week, and I'll probably play the game some, a little bit at least, but not a ton. I'm just going to play enough so I can basically have enough MT to lock in next week's set. The one thing I will say is if you do get the deluxe pack, that basically allows you to lock in the set for probably somewhere around 360,000 MT each week this season. That's what it's going to look like for the Opals, and we're obviously going to get a bunch of midweek free content this week for sure with the round two recap and whatever free content is coming on Tuesday. Um, to replace bold, but lots of good free content. I'm sure midweek during throughout the seasons and stuff. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of free stuff simply because it's later on in the year at my team, but the rewards to start off this season are kind of garbage. And I'm going to talk more about the rewards specifically in another video, but like these, like even Jokic for low 40, like he doesn't have cha changed release and doesn't have unbelievable sigs. The point guard Jokic is good, but as a whole, where is the point guard Jokic? I, I don't see him in here. Uh, he should be in under season seven rewards, and he's not right now, so that might be glitched. But the point guard Jokic, obviously the pro pass reward, which I don't even see where it is. Um, that's very confusing, but... Uh, obviously, um, the, the rewards just don't look that incredible. Even the salary cap rewards, Jamal Mashburn, Adrian Dantley, DeJounte Murray, those are not exciting rewards this season. Josh missed a 6'9 power forward. That's not that incredible. Like, in general, I don't see a ton about this season that looks super exciting to me outside of Unlimited for Jalen Rose right now because he's probably the best point guard in the game. Probably. And I think that's about the only exciting thing. Like, there's obviously modes. Completing modes will make you a lot of MT. Every single season, it will reset, and there's going to be a lot of MT to be made. The problem is, you can make a lot of MT, but number one, you still have to play the game to make it. And a lot of people just aren't enjoying playing the game. And number two, there's still not much you can do with your MT, because all you can do is spend the three or four or 500,000 MT each week to lock in a set, depending on what, how much you need and what you get, or open packs. And like, sure, you can open a 10 box each week, or even two if you grind, or whatever the case may be be but it's just like at the end of the day the odds are bad the game isn't rewarding the cards that you're trying to get aren't good this week's drop in general isn't game changing at all like even goat larry bird the best cards in this week's drop goat larry bird james harden um kareem is just like his hundred overall none of those cards are game changing at all this is a drop where it literally is just like kind of sit on whatever you're doing and honestly go play another game in my personal opinion would be my main recommendation to be honest but as a my team content creator still i am still here to make content on this game despite how terrible it may be and how much i may recommend uh, honestly for most of y'all to not really play it but i think there will be more incentive to play later this week for people who are looking for stuff to do uh, obviously you have things to do here they're just not the most rewarding things is what i'm saying for this weekend so far um but yeah go get your unlimited ring Honestly, would probably be my main, my main recommendation. That's probably the only thing I will do this weekend, to be completely honest, is go get my unlimited ring because I have to get three more rings by the start of the finals. So that means I need to get my rings the next couple weeks, probably. I think three of the next four weeks, at least, I'll need to get my ring. So I'm going to get my ring this weekend. Uh, probably make a ring video as well at some point. But um, that's and play towards Jalen Rose. Like, that's about the only thing that I think is really currently worth doing. And then on... Um, Tuesday, we should get a bunch of good free content, and hopefully that will give us some legitimately competitive type quality cards that are really good and worth grinding for, and hopefully at least bring a little bit of life into the game, um, because unfortunately, we're kind of just reliant on good free content that's accessible for the game to be fun, because and for cards to be good, because otherwise, there's just no desire or no interest in spending any sort of money by me, or I hope any of y'all at this point in the game, so... And one other thing, I guess you get the pro pass, but the, like, even like Jamal Murray, he's not that good. Is it really, is the pro pass wor that worth it this season? In my mind, I guess the rewards themselves aren't terrible. An unsellable opal, a half badge option pack. I'll talk about this more again in my season seven rewards video that I'm going to make here in a little bit. But I don't know, man. It's just, I don't know what to think about this game right now, to be honest. I'm definitely not super pleased. So hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.